next one I don't 90 know. Day Fiance. Yes. A mess, a mess, a mess. It you is know what Anna I think? Mary. Oh yeah, it's Mary and Amma. Um, we know what I have come to realize. Mm. Nicole and Mahmoud. Last time we saw, he was running down the highway, down um, I-95, trying to run away from Nicole and her crazy red hair. Mm. Um, the little hell that he was living in himself. Oh. Um, and the man was running behind him, telling him that he needs to sit down and calm down um, and only walk down to the corner of the road. Don't go too far. So now I can't walk We don't want walk. you getting hurt or killed on U.S. soil. You just arrived. I don't think he really cares. I think he just wants to keep an eye on him for Nicole. Oh, okay. Personally. Um, but so, you know what I've come to realize? I think what? Nicole has to say, because she kept on saying this weird thing through the show where she was just like, you know, I mean, where is he going to go, you know? Where is he going to go, you know? So, I mean, I, I, I care about him. I, I'm worried about him. He's here all alone mm -hmm. by himself, you know? I worry about him. So, I mean, I can't kick him out. I mean, yeah, I told him to get the hell out, but I told him to come back because, I mean, I'm worried oh, she did go. tell him to get out. Three times. Oh, boy. I mean, I did tell him to get the hell out, but, um, and where is he going to go, right? I think she has decided he is in America. He has put me through hell. Yeah. And you know what? I'm going to put him through hell and back. And you yeah. know what? His ASS can't go nowhere. Nowhere, right. Because he's in America. So yeah. he has to take and sit in it. Yeah. So when he came back to the house mm -hmm. to come and get his suitcase mm -hmm. and barely talk to her, she's like, well, where are you going to go? I mean, there's no one, there's no place you can go. I mean, where, where do you think you're going to go? I mean, like, where, where are you going? You, you don't even have that much money, I don't think. The man wow. has a whole credit card. He was able to pay her back the $300 that he took from her credit card for the hotel. So it's not like he ain't got funds. Mm. So he said that he is not going back because she said you have made my life you have made my life a living hell these past three days. And you know what? Not only that, you've made my life a living hell for four years. So why the hell are you still with him, Nicole? Why are you still there? If you are in if you are in hell burning, why are you still in that relationship? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, to me it's just a toxic relationship. Especially on her part. Too. Yeah, it's just it's just time to move on. Wrap it up. I don't think it's just time to move. It's Black sad screen. because like <laughs> I'm making <laughs> <Nicki> Minaj lyric. <laughs> At least like when she was in Egypt, his brother was there. Like they were, he had family members who, who were there him. who cared about him, but also cared about her. But who will talk to? On he on her behalf, right? He has been stripped from all of that, and now. he doesn't have that because she has friends who are pretty much on her side, and so like he's really alone, and it's just like from day one, it's, it's like she something. just went out of her way, I think, to just aggravate him. But I did say, even when they were in Egypt, there were times that I felt like remember she went to go meet that woman, and remember the one who was. She was in Egypt, but I think she was anti-Egypt and Egyptians. Yes, 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 yes. And I was just like, like she just has these things that she does and to then, instigate stuff, to middle she, him. And then remember, she was in the the the, the modest swimsuit, looking like this is the most um, the meaning thing I've ever witnessed and in my life. And even when she like, came out weird. and she took off the thing from her head, he was like, he was fine, he was happy in the pool. But even then, she wanted to quarrel and. To me, is just Nicole. I mean, Mahmoud is not a ba bag of peaches, but when I, I look at both fair. of them, I just feel like she is a little more dramatic and like quarrelsome than he is. That's what I feel. Yeah. Um, now, I don't feel sorry for Mahmoud because I'm just like that's who you chose. You were out there looking at women in bikinis, but now you want her covered up. Um, you know, you don't want someone cursing and all that stuff, but you out there cursing and smoking and all this stuff. Like, I just, I don't have pity because just like how I tell American women, don't go out there trying to date a man who needs a green card. Don't do it because in a foreign man at that who you don't know if they are married back home, wherever they come from, like you don't know these people like there are so many men in america find one find one there are many men even myself at 52 i can if i if i want to have a man right now in america i can find somebody Hello. i'm just not interested right this second because i gotta you know do something else for myself
Um, but let's go um, ahead so and talk I, that's about... how I feel. So I mean, my mood, I don't know. Yeah, but let's go ahead and talk about um, who was it? That girl, Ashley Manuel. Um, she did not go ahead and tell the uncle Ooh, about yes, her yes, being yes. a witch, but she did say that she believes in other deities. So it didn't go bad or whatever stuff, but it did seem like they got into another argument or whatever. And it seemed like Manuel to me is gaslighting Ashley. Um, because he's like, you know, I'm in jail, I can't go to the store, I can't do this, I can't do that, you don't trust me, da 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 da. Of course he's gaslighting her because she didn't buy his motorcycle. He wants his motorcycle. So he can drive his motorcycle. I thought he this... complains about her she buying treats for her dogs. For her dog. But he doesn't mind when she has to spend thousands of dollars on a motorcycle. That he can send back. That to one is family. okay. Yes. Yeah. Like Volta. this man is such a user. Yeah. I had I at the beginning I had some hopes for them. I did too. I really like them. Uh however, listen, lady. Like I always say, do not marry a foreigner who you need to help. Don't marry someone that can be on equal footing with you, especially financially, or is on a higher footing so that they can help you Because you're the woman. as a woman. Like this whole thing is not going to work. And like her mom says, her mom has cried to, to although the mom, some, they're also a little like, oh, Manuel, remember for the reunion, well, hugging what, him. What do you want to do? Oh this my is God, your daughter. you've been through so much. Come, let me hug you. Well, Mama, what, sit down. What are you going to do? This is who your daughter has chosen. She's already married the man. She's already done K1 Pisa. What can she do except for fake like this is some blessing in her daughter's life? <laughs> and hope for the best. <laughs> That he will come around and stop being so damn ungrateful. Let me not be the um. Let me not be the um. The knife in the back. Let me at least be the um. The ointment that helps the wound. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It so, is foolishness. It's foolishness, and I don't know. You I want don't... your daughter to at least come to you when it eventually hits the fan, which it will sooner or later. You know what I'm saying? So she wants to at least be able to come up to you and be like, my mom supported me. So and I don't why. understand. With all your witchery, witchery that you're doing, you could not see this in the witchery that you're doing that it, um, rained on it does not work. Day. That this whole thing is not going to work. How did you know? How do you not see it? You might see the signs, but a lot of times as women, we will look at those red signs and we will put some. We'll add some white paint to that red no, flag. No, she goes and becomes green and all know, this stuff. She says she, they go and they, you know, do some stuff, and that, you know, kind of that's the bomb, I guess. Whatever that means, <sighs> girl. Uh, you know, like they'll get into bed yeah, yeah. Her. Gino and Jasmine. Ugh. Jasmine's mom has cancer. Um, crazy. Oh my goodness. Jasmine's mom has cancer. Jasmine has to go home because your mom can't take care of those kids anymore for you, right? Well, I don't even think that was a discussion because he said, well, let me take you on a trip to Miami instead, even though your mom has cancer. Let me not save up money to let her go back home to okay. be with her family. Gino is an asshole. And oh I, my I, God. And this man was talking about how, oh, he wants to see Jasmine with another man or another woman and let him join in. So now that's where we're getting with the relationship. It's getting all seedy. Yeah. Like, but this is this. Listen, I didn't. I I, I did say that's the only thing he's, he's with her is for the for so because he can do all his depravity with her. She'll accept him. Like Jasmine, at some Gino point, Gino actually what? wants a man. Let's not even try to pretend. Because he always said, he oh, really wants a woman. man, like, and so and that's why he's saying to her, bring in someone. A man, and I can and then watch he do will in join in because he actually wants to. Like I can't, I cannot, I I cannot really even talk about people who want to have this kind of lifestyle because it's Depending. certainly not my thing, and like it's just too nutty for me. I just wonder, people like this, what's the point of being married? Like, what exactly is the point? And I feel like with Gino, through the years and time, he has broken Jasmine. Like, she is a totally broken woman. You know, it can't and get no so worse sad. when your it's man... so sad. It doesn't get any worse when your man sends your nudes. 
to his ex who That's, then puts it sells it to bloggers yeah. and it's all around your country he, so you he, can't even yeah. get a that was the care. ultimate breakdown yeah because he he doesn't protect her he doesn't and care he about will her. not protect her and he doesn't care about her doesn't care about her children and um one day she'll wake up and just wonder how i went so far down and the thing is you have children jasmine at some point you as a mother have to be the protector of your kids and and she's not these children have to see all this foolishness that you're out there doing with gino they gotta see that this is like in the internet it's out there forever and you yourself are not protecting them but you want a man to protect you you're not caring for your kids, but you want someone else to do for you what you will not even do for your own children. See, doesn't make sense, does it? So I just don't know, but I feel it breaks my heart when I see that happening to a woman. It breaks my heart, like she is totally broken. Yeah. She, I mean, she went to a point where she was even like, remember that expensive hair she used to? She's like, I'm gonna wear my natural hair. She has bold so that spots. I don't like, have to see like them. so I don't have to like let him have to spend all this money. Like she is really striving, going for therapy, all of this stuff. But Jasmine, I would love to see you doing that for yourself without this man. Not for him, but for yourself and for those children and move on from him. But lastly, let's talk about Ed and Liz. He called Liz Oh. This man is such a liar. Did he up with her or He's something? such a liar. He mm -hmm. called the officiant. Come to find out. He's like, so he's telling us that, you know, oh, I called us a few days ago to come and um, meet me at this place. Mind you, it's a bar. Um, Liz gets on the phone and says, no, Ed. He said, because I think he was like, oh, I've been calling you. I've been calling you for three days. She said, no, I've been calling you. And you have been declining my calls. And now you want to call me an hour ago and ask me to get up and come bring my child with me to a bar to come have a conversation with you? So the man did not give her any heads up, didn't talk to her for three days, expects her to hop out of bed and run to him at a bar. And of course, he's such a liar. I don't know how she... Did she go? No, because oh, she said it's not appropriate. Why will I go to a bar? You have already made up your mind that you don't want to get married or whatever. This is the 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 what the eleven twelve time that you're breaking out of your mind. Um, fix them. We ain't gotta have a conversation. Why do I have to go to a bar to go see you with my child? That's not appropriate. You're there drinking and all this stuff. I know. And he's just sitting like Humpty Dumpty fell off the wall. Why Liz went with this Humpty Dumpty looking man? I don't know how she has sex with that man. I, I could not well, do it. You know, like, uh, oh, let, let, <laughs> yikes. I don't know. And then he's such an a hole. It's yeah. not like he's like not, it's not like he's yeah. ugly. Not, I'm not gonna say he's ugly. Yeah. He ain't my cup of tea. But I'm not, but like, yeah. One, he's not the best looking on the outside, but no. then he's also very ugly on yeah. the inside. He's more ugly you... on the inside than he is on the outside. And, and because he's already not good looking, it the ugliness on the outside just makes him look even more worse. worse. Yeah. So I, so... There's a darkness to Ed. If you look in his eyes, he's very, very dark. There's a darkness and it has always been there. Yeah. You know, I remember the first time I saw him. Trying to I say that she has eyes, to brush her teeth when you look the I way said, you look. Okay. And you said that, but when I looked in Ed's eyes, I mean, and I've actually seen some people in the comments talk about if you look in Ed's eyes from when he was with Rose, there's a darkness in that man's eyes. There is a darkness. That man, mm, 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 mm. there's something going on. And then it's such a difference because when you look at his brother, his brother seems to have like so much light with him. You know, I, I don't know if it's his brother, maybe he's his best friend, but has so much light with him. But you look into Ed's eyes and there's this darkness. Like, mm, Liz has to run. She got to run. Yeah. But yeah, y'all, that was, I think it was a 90 day. It was mm. quite a bit mm. this time. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, y'all, we will see you guys on the next video. Bye. Bye! Give us a thumbs up! Yes!